A thousand bottles of lube and AR-15s. Diddy has been arrested. Freaky ass niggas need to stay their ass inside. And this is not funny at all. Mm -mm. But a thousand bottles yeah. and AR-15s mm -mm. that have been the face of the serial numbers. Mm -mm. So Diddy went in, I guess they say kind of voluntarily. They are saying that they fear that Diddy would he actually... Voluntarily, be... he knew that he was going to get arrested. Yeah, they knew that he was going to get arrested, so he did. They started saying that he flew back to New York. He said that he knew he was going to be getting arrested or whatever. But I think they actually went to his hotel a day early because they felt like he might actually flee because they mm -hmm. heard that he had switched hotel rooms right. or something he like that. To switch hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they actually did handcuff him and take him to the prison. So they did handcuff him at the hotel. Yeah. Mm. So I, I don't think that, um, I mean, it could obviously say he brought himself in there willingly or whatever, stuff like that, but he didn't just walk into the prison and the lawyer was trying to say that, oh, well, it's because they wanted him to be detained or whatever the case may be. Either way, did he have finally been locked up? I think we yes. all have been looking forward we had, to this. Well, some of us have been looking forward to it. Some of us have just been waiting to see what was going to be happening with the case. I, I mean, a year worth of allegations. They his stuff, what? About six months ago. Yeah, which and they I, I we raided his homes. We both said that obviously if they're raiding his homes and all this stuff that they obviously have some evidence or whatever the case may be, and it's probably a serious thing. And mm -hmm. for those who don't know, Homeland Security is actually kind of like the it's kind of like the federal government doesn't really pro, they don't really see sex crimes as like a federal offense, but there's another branch of the federal government that does see it as like a federal offense, which is like Homeland, Homeland Security. Security. So that's what they do. Homeland Security do that, but you will make sense for them to handle that yeah I have a different department for that mm -hmm. um so, so what are the charges the charges that diddy is going in for is one racketeering mm -hmm. two sex trafficking and three transportation for prostitution mm -hmm. um racketeering is basically just using your business to um operate that um illegal up. activities wow. yeah so you're disguising it so that's what racketeering is and they and said the sex since 2008 from 2008 up to 2024 oh. he has been doing this um it was just sad they sat down there and they read off um the evidence they said they have found video evidence of the freak offs they found a thousand bottles of lube and maybe oil mm -hmm. they found i think five ar-15s with the serial number scratched off mm -hmm. they also um said that um diddy they would the magazine. they had the magazine they also said that diddy he the way that he would do his vic his victims basically is that he will get a lot of them drugged up and he will um apply them with um ketamine and ecstasy and cocaine as well mm -hmm. and he will mm -hmm. videotape them and then also to keep them doing this like to kind of keep them hooked he'll keep them on drugs yeah. he'll control their financial situation yeah. he will also blackmail them yeah. and then he will also use violence during these free calls so yeah. he will have women engage with male prostitutes while he'll be in a corner self-pleasuring and recording i guess Okay, let's not go into to details. Well, definitely not doing that. I, I, <laughs> like, it is insane. I know. Like, this is straight up some R. Kelly stuff. The only thing, and well, I'm not going to say the only thing missing, but they, I, we haven't heard anything about children Just, or anything like that, but we don't really know. So, yeah, we don't know yet. Until we don't know yet. Until comes that would be out. very interesting to see just the kind of people that were trafficked. Yeah. The age of the individuals that were trafficked. Yeah, I mean, the whole but, thing is just very unfortunate. It's yeah. a shame. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just going to say this. this You know, a lack of morals and a lack of discipline will always have you screwed up. No matter how successful you are, if you don't have discipline, mm -hmm. especially of your lower, of your lower desires, mm -hmm. of your sexual member, mm -hmm. and you ain't got no morals, mm -hmm. this is how, this is what happens. This now happens. you are this going to happens. jail. I feel bad mostly for the kids because one, they didn't ask to be here. Two, they didn't ask for a father like this. No. And then it's like now they're being dragged into it. When I was looking at the whole bond stuff, all the people that had to sign, all the people that have been affected by this is crazy, yeah. which we'll talk about in another video. Yes. But yes. it's really unfortunate for the kids, for the daughters. And it was so interesting when the DA was talking about the names, all his aliases, AKA Love, AKA yeah. PD, 
Iggy, just sounded like such a clown. Like someone who has have so many different Iggy this, Iggy that. I remember so many, every few years he comes up with a new name. Yeah. Like Puff Daddy, you know I'm known as Puff, you know I'm known as PD, you know I'm known as Diddy, Diddler. Well, he didn't call himself Diddler, but might as well. Um, but he's attorney. What do you think of that attorney? Their attorney was just... I mean, all over the place to me this personally. is someone who is good for the black community, who has done so much for the black community. Really? Did he? He has done a lot for the black community. I don't really... This, this is... Horrible for the black community. Embarrassing to the black community. And all the sickness that he put into the community, all the crimes that he committed against black people. Yeah. You know, and what he, has he done? And I don't even know why he was ever given the key to New York. I'm sure like, was other, better about better that. people. And wasn't that the mayor now who his home was raided? I, you know? Yeah. I was very interested that his home was raided not too long ago. Very true. That's something else. I wonder if it was related to this. Yeah. And that's why they raided his home. Maybe they figured, maybe they thought he might have something in his home. Yeah. Maybe linked to Diddy. Was Diddy using his home to hide something? I wondered about that when his home was raided. You know, for me, what is really sad is everything that Diddy did to these victims, you know, mm -hmm. all because you just could not control yourself and you couldn't go and get help. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fact that you will be drugging these people, he has been doing it blackmailing for a long time. these people. He has been getting away with it for a long time, ever since he was at Howard University, allegedly. Because, you know, they said once you get money, you either become a better person or you just become more of what you are. And if you're already a bad person and he was doing this in college, like, you get allegedly. money, allegedly, you get money, and now you're doing this, like, on a crazier scale. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. just sad. The fact that he was doing it up until 2024, it mm -hmm. makes me wonder, Carisha, mm. were you in that? Because you were messing well, with him in 2022, 2021, right? Well, 2022, 2023. The DA 24. did give a 1-877 number. Wait, because they're still, the, this investigation is still active. They're still asking people to come forward. Um, which makes me wonder, too, about that. Them still asking people to come forward. I wonder, do they have enough? Or is that just to kind of maybe keep people on eggshells for a while like i, I don't know if they're coming to me or you know i don't know if something else will be found out there's never enough but, evidence that you can get with a sex trafficking thing like because right. i feel like because it's done behind closed doors you need as much evidence as possible mm. now he has and that is one of the reasons that the judge denied bond but we'll talk about that later yeah but they obviously need a lot of evidence because one this is all done behind closed doors mm -hmm. obviously diddy has never heard about self-snitching because you sat down here filming all these people filming all these incidences mm -hmm. and do you think that you're going to go off scot free thinking that, oh, you're getting stuff on somebody else, not knowing you're also shooting yourself in the foot? Yeah. It's like a double-edged gun. Like, you shooting somebody, but you're also shooting yourself. Mm -hmm. Because now it's all in your house. You're filming it. Even if you weren't, all, if, even if you weren't in that act to yourself, which I don't believe for one second, because he strikes me as the type that no. swinging both ways, up, down, till Sunday. Mm. So I feel like... Hmm. It was dumb. He's yeah. doing that. Like, you should have never even done it to begin with. I do wonder how he, not that I want to know, but like, I just wonder how this depravity started. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously we know how it started with R. Kelly. You know, it started with the sister or whatever the case may be. And Well, really, it didn't even start with the sister. It actually, started, it actually didn't even start with the sister. It actually started with an old man that lived in his apartment building who was like mm. 70 years old. I started with him, and then right. I think the sister came along or whatever. Right. But I just wonder if that's like in his past or whatever the case may be. Probably. Because it's just very sick to be doing all this stuff, and you're literally going to jail for these free calls that you've been doing for years. Was it worth it, though? Okay. Anyway. And about time. And about time. Because, yeah. you know, you always, like, heard about something. You always heard stuff. Right? I yeah. mean, I, went, I remember Wendy Williams talking about the, like, insinuating stuff about Diddy, and you just wondered what was going on there. I just thought, well, oh, okay, you know, but, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, y'all, we are going to see you on the next video. A lot of people, him being in jail today, a lot of people are...
probably resting easy. Yeah, hopefully he gets to stay there. But we will see. What I am happy about is that, which I guess we can talk about another one, but I am happy yeah. that it seems like Cassie's going to be cooperating with enforcement even though she didn't get her, her stuff. Oh, okay. I think because they did talk about victim one, and obviously we're talking about Cassie Ventura, his ex, Cassie. Okay. Um, which we have to talk about what that lawyer was saying about her also. So it's a lot to uncover. So y'all yes. will be seeing a few Diddy videos. So just be yes, prepared. Yes, yes, yes. But we will see you guys on the next video.